Take a good look at this picture. The gunman who walked into a Jack in the Box restaurant and shot an LA County deputy still on the loose. It's our top story today on KCAL 9 News at noon and streaming on CBSNL LA. Hello, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Uh, that deputy fighting for his life today. We are learning more now about exactly what he was doing just moments before the attack. KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom reports from Alhambra. The deputy was at the Jack in the Box just behind us here, off duty and in plain clothes when he was shot. We've now learned just minutes before he'd gone into that jiffy loop. Workers there tell us the deputy was a regular and they are shaken. We decided to go get Jack in the Box while his car was getting uh, service. George Bugarin says he knew the deputy shot as a caring son who often brought in his mom and her car for service. Yesterday he was alone when he left his mother's car and walked next door. Two of my employees that were here. They heard all the commotion and a guy come running out to the shop yelling for help and they were all kind of scared. Late last night, investigators released restaurant security camera stills of their suspect. They believe this man walked up behind the deputy who was waiting for food, shot him once in the head, turned around and fled. A man at the restaurant called 911. He feared the deputy wasn't breathing. I asked the guy like, oh, sir, can you hear me? Is there anything you can, can you move? Is when I heard, when as soon as I said that, I see his stomach moving like he was breathing. Investigators say other security video found nearby suggests the suspected shooter changed clothes into a black t shirt and black jeans before getting away in a white four door Kia Sportage with paper plates. Detectives are not commenting on a possible motive or whether they think the shooter knew he was ambushing a deputy. They do stress the deputy was not in uniform and had no badge or holster exposed. The workers at Jiffy Lube said until yesterday they had no idea he was in law enforcement with 13 years of service. He never showed he was in the, in the office, officer, so, you know, he was just humble. Early this morning, fellow deputies holding vigil at the hospital gave us this bulletin looking for the public's help. Community members told us they can't stop thinking about the deputy or his family. Chills. I'm just ready to cry. I can't even imagine what they're going through. The sheriff's department says the deputy's condition remains critical. We've also learned a $100,000 reward is now being offered for information leading to the gunman's conviction. Reporting here from Alhambra, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.